went for our delicious steak and veggies and cheese and caramelized onion quesadillas mm. accompanying us with some peach salsa some sour cream and some spicy guacamole because Ian needs some spice in his life <laughs> welcome to my chefing my name is Chef Fran, and this is my sous chef, Ian. How are we doing today? And today, <laughs> e, we are making Ooh. some steak, veggie, okay. cheese. Well, you know you need cheese if you're making a quesadilla. Yeah, quesadilla yeah. So we're making some beef quesadilla. Mm -hmm. So we have our steak that we actually had earlier that we cooked up and ate, and we said, "Hey, yeah, we we'll make some, some quesadillas." Yeah, that's a good Pretty idea. simple. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I like my steak well done. Ian yeah. likes his steak medium rare. So we fought about this earlier today. <laughs> so uh, some of our steak is well done. Oof. And some of it is medium red, looking reddish pink with ugh, the blood in here, because that's what Ian likes. Mm -hmm. But guess what? In this quesadilla, he's going to have no choice but to eat it cooked yeah. all the way. Because the heat that's going to melt that cheese is going to cook up the rest of the steak. Yay! <laughs> You're killing I'm the I'm excited. Steak. I mean, like yeah. a real fight now. Yes, I mean, it is. Because I'm like, dude. See this butt on my plate. So you guys tell me how you like your steak. Comment below. Let me know if you like it. Like Ian. Medium rare. Ugh. With the blood. Mm, not blood. Oh, you but like pink. it. I no, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, uh, it's not pink, rare. But then the liquid comes out of it. And it's bloody yeah. looking. But you're killing or the steak. You're killing it when you have You it like well it when done. it's well done. Uh, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's true, mama. That's true. Oh, you like it medium rare, just like he. Seasoned and hot. <laughs> well, anyway, guys. <laughs> All right, let's gonna, get back to it. We're going to go ahead mm -hmm. and we're going to make our quesadilla for mm -hmm. you. So in our pan, we have some butter in here to cook up. Now, you could do this on a, um, a, a grill. Um... Some people sometimes even do it in their panini presses, you know, skillet, That's whatever true. is more convenient and works for you. Pink for me, because I'm so sweet. I know. Pretty and pink. And I have the white ones just pretty, for you, Ian. I know. Pretty and pink. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, guys, pink is my favorite color unofficially. Like, I think I don't want to admit that I love pink. Everything right? we use is basically I use is pink. pink. Come on. So I guess unofficially, yeah. I've said that I love pink, mm -hmm. but though I won't fully admit that I like pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so here's you our You gotta go, I don't have any more gloves on it. Yeah, of course he doesn't. Typical Ian, right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any more gloves. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds familiar, guys? Ah, that's why I cannot wait. Please, please, guys, give this guy a challenge. Because mm. I just want to hold his feet to the fire for you guys. <laughs> Please. Because here we talk about I'm going on vacation. I'll be back. I'm taking a sabbatical. But I'm back for good. No, he cannot go on any vacation. Anything <laughs> until he does this challenge that you guys give him. Okay. And I'm not going to help him. Mm. I'm going to sit back. Mm. And I'm just going to watch him and hold his feet to the fire for you guys. Mm. Our flat tortilla has niacin, thiamine, riboflavin, and folic acid. Our butter has vitamins A, B12, D, E, and K2. Kobe Jack cheese has vitamins A, D, iron, calcium, and potassium. Our white cheddar cheese has vitamins D and calcium. The beef has vitamins B6, B12, iron, selenium, and zinc. Zucchini has vitamins A, B6, C, folate, magnesium, and potassium. Yellow squash has vitamins A, B6, C, folate, magnesium, and potassium. Slap your mama seasoning has vitamins A, C, calcium, and iron. Onions has vitamins B6, C, folate, magnesium, and potassium. Sour cream has vitamins A, D, E, and K. Salsa has vitamins C, 
guacamole has vitamins B6, C, E, K, magnesium, omega-3 fatty acids, and potassium. Real facts. 16.2% of Hispanic households are experiencing food insecurity. The households are in the top three for households with the most food insecurity. You can learn more by visiting us at jdhcdc.org. And we can tell myself I'm so excited. I am a first time author. I have my new book out called A Twist on Boring Salads. A salad a day, 30 days a month. Look at this. All of these salads are in full color. No black and white pictures. So you can see the full on version of what you're going to be making. So you can get yourself a copy on Amazon.com. Who doesn't love Amazon? So go to Amazon.com. Let's get our heat going on here. Let's get this heat up. Okay. So, so my, my sous chef is directing moi right now. Well, I'm throwing a few tips here and yeah, there. Yeah, you know, mm. he's good for that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh. excellent for that. Yeah. Throwing his five cents yeah. without giving the first four cents. <laughs> next year, you might want to put some steak next. Oh. <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> Comical. Okay. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. What else should I do? Well, if you can go that route, why don't Chef we just... Ian? Why don't we just put some veggies on it next? Since oh. you're going, you know, you finish okay. it up with the veggies. No problem, Chef Ian. <laughs> You're a hundred percent right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where you gotta throw that in the middle. Yeah, so let, let's let nothing go to waste because no, everything is expensive. Yeah, you're without so, a doubt. no problem at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> let me add some zucchini, zucchini, some yellow squash. And the beautiful caramel onions. Oh, you yeah, did a great gonna... job with those, Mama. Well, thank you. Yes, Ian. you did. After he bossed me around, now he wants to compliment me. You know, typical. <laughs> typical. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I tell you. Okay. Uh huh, boss man. Oh, now? I guess I should put some Kobe. Chief, yeah, okay. Kobe, Kobe on. Okay. And save a little bit just for the sealer in case the, the cheese oh, in the doesn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, when boss I, man. Oh, no, boss man, but you know, come on, my chef, you taught me. Come on, mama. <sighs> it's almost like the same as we did in the last show with the uh, the vegetable mm. quesadillas. Yeah. You know, so I remembered learning. Here we go. Yes. Okay, so now what do we do? Oh, you can put some more steak. Why I not? I guess we should finish it out. Yeah, finish it out since it's sitting there, you know. Yeah, I, I like it to get real, real charred and crispy since it's already well done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you, honey, a little cooked steak ain't never hurt nobody. nobody. No, it won't. And it's actually you tenderized and it made it excellent, by the way. Oh, wow. Yes. New. We're waiting for our cheese to melt as it's starting to melt to seal up. Our steak. We'll flip it once we know it has some color, which is not yet. Now, guys, I'm a classically trained chef, so I'm used to dealing with heat. Do not do as I'm doing. If you're not used to heat, don't stick your fingers in here. I would just say, use your spatula tips like this to keep sealing your ends. But for me, it's not a big deal for me to stick my hands in. So... In this case, do not do as I'm doing. Right now, you can do as I'm doing. When I'm doing this, don't. Okay, as we wait for it to continue melting, and then we'll turn it over. Okay, let's try to see if it's getting a little color. I don't think so, not yet. I don't believe so yet. Oh yeah, actually. That's some color, so let's let's flip our quesadillas. Okay. Now we gotta get the cheese to resize back down here. Ooh, that's crunchy right there. Okay. 
So our steak and veggie quesadilla is done. Yes, it is. But I gotta show you my nice little tool here. Another gadget to This is called a mezzaluna. The word comes from Italy, it means half moon. Um, it's an Italian word, mezzaluna. And not only is my mezzaluna the bomb, it has a grater. So you could grade your cheese that you're putting to stick on your quesadilla. Uh -huh. So how neat is that? Not only do you have this, and by the way, this is super sharp, guys. Ooh. Be so careful if you have a mezzaluna. Mm -hmm. Slice you up real good. So the blade is super sharp. So you have this blade and you have a grater. So now, you know, obviously while you're grating, you would put your, your cover on your sheath. It does come with like a sheath protector. So you'd have that on and then you would put it in a bowl and you would grade exactly your cheese, your vegetables, whatever it is that you want to do. And when you're done, you remove this like we're going to do. And we are going to rock our mezzaluna. Yes. And we're going to cut it this way. We've just been doing hours of four because this is a small. Yeah tortilla that we use had it been a big one then we could have done it you know another cut another two more cuts would have been eight but we have four and so take a look at our quesadillas look at that very nice our i don't have gloves on my other hand but you see the onions and you see the cheeses and you see all of that beef that got well done that Ian is now gonna have to eat because there's no raw here. And we have um, uh, a little bit of the yellow you can see from the yellow squash up yeah. at the side right there. Let's see if you can get another better view here. Again, our onions, our steak, our lots of cheese, Ooh, that Kobe yeah. cheese, just totally delicious for your viewing. Yum. Yum, 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 and yum. And now Ian has no choice but to eat. Oh, and then there's a the green there from your zucchini, and there's all your cheeses here, your steak, your onions, all right there. And then you have your yellow squash right here. Mm -hmm. You see a little bit of that yellow. So, all right, super good. And we'll be back. And now Ian, you're gonna have to. <laughs> the steak that's well done. Bon appetit. <laughs> now, my steak is well done. Yes. And now Ian's is too. He has no choice but to eat it. Yeah. And I have bacon. You see my bacon pieces here? Right, Ian? My yeah, bacon, bacon yes, your pieces. Ba yes, your bacon, mama. And my melted cheese mm -hmm. and my mushroom. You know, and we have our veggies in here, of course. I'll tell you. Mm. The crisp. Of the quesadilla, mm, you know, you mm. have with the buttery, the moisture. Mm, mm. Actually, mom, I'll tell you, your steak's pretty good with it because I usually don't eat well done steak, but the mushrooms and everything else involved in this is absolutely delicious. But well, mine tastes better than yours because it's got bacon. Yeah, of course, you guys, you're swine. <laughs> okay. It is bacon, and you love your bacon. I can't, I can't okay. deny, Mama. Mm -hmm. I cannot deny you on your bacon, and you go out of your way all the time for me by making the turkey bacon. Mm -hmm. So you enjoy your steak and quesadilla mm. with the bacon. Ooh, okay. this has a little kick, but it has a that sweetness bounces it out. Wonderful. And that so, salsa. Mm-hmm. You know, some I really don't need any of the the dippings. It tastes it's delicious by itself, right? by itself. I'm serious. You're right. Mm. That bacon, I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. So good. So, 
Yes. Here's our call to action. Let's go. Don't forget to click the like button by giving us a virtual hug. Hug. Yes. When you do that, that it's Ian and myself go back to the Thinking and Creative Lab. Yeah. Where he can boss me around, where he tries to boss me around. <laughs> yeah. Well, I try to put my two cents in. He tr <laughs> tries to put my He two tries cents. to put his two cents that he forgets about the one and one cents, the two one cents that equal the two cents <laughs> of how to do whatever. Right. I'm but. I'm blurry. We anyway, want you to share, share this channel with your family and friends. Please. This is not just you know, providing you a nutritional information and food insecurity information channel. This is truly a love for creating food. You know, a love for having a good time. That's why yeah. you and I joke around yeah, so much. Yes. We, we want you to be part of that Mon Chef family. family. Yeah, please come be part of us and share it. So share if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Subscribe, 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 so you can know every time we upload a new video when you hit that bell notification. Yes. And we just believe that you sharing this channel with your family and friends lets us know that you care. Because sharing is much caring. That's sharing right. is definitely caring, please. And if you just stop by here today for your first time, we want to say welcome. Yes, we do. Well, we welcome you here with open arms and big hugs. Great big hugs. Big hugs. We thank you so much for hanging out with yes. us today. While you got to watch us eat physically, but you ate virtually. But guess what? You too can eat this too physically. Yes, you can. If you make this, you can let us know. Like how I added, I snuck in my bacon at the last moment. <laughs> yes. You could do yours all bacon if you want. You can make your quesadilla however you want. See, for me, even though I'm a classically trained chef, I feel that food is all about passion, love, and creativity. All it is is reinventing the wheel or creating a new wheel, so mm -hmm. to speak. Yeah. So whatever I've made, you can make it just like I made it, or you can add your own twist to it. And I want to hear if you do that. How, if you made it just like me, how it came out, or if you added your own twist to something. I want to thank you so much again for taking your time to hang out with us today. We really do appreciate it because we know you're busy and you didn't have to stop by and watch us, but you did. And we thank you. We for really that. thank you for that. So we want to say, come back and hang out with us again. And we love you guys. Thank you again. Bye.